Um, we're very well-rounded. We have a strong group of girls. Um, we can score from multiple positions. Um, our setter is a returner and she's given the ball to our hitters and their soft spots and our passers are connecting with our setter who makes it easier for our setter to get the ball to our hitters. Well, the, our, our model this year was combat mind. So we came into preseason working like we're pushing for the battle. We're getting ready for the war. Um, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, everything. And so the girls take that number six preseason rankings as an honor, but also as a target on our backs. So we work twice as hard. Um, we push even more. To lose that one again at Fort Scott in five sets and to drop us to number 18, it kind of, it crushed them a little bit, but it opened their eyes to say that, you know, it, the rankings don't matter. Let's just go play our game. Let's go win. Let's go play our, the match like we know how to play it. And no matter what, after if we win or lose, we don't care what the rankings are as long as we keep going hard. And then the rankings will go on our side. This weekend, last weekend was a very good time for us to get a lot of players in. Our libero is hurt at the moment. Um, our starting libero is hurt and Karen Sue McKenzie has taken over at that spot and she has passed very well for us. Um, we've also had a chance to play everybody this weekend, which was good for us because I got to see all of the girls on the court and how they react to the speed of the ball, the speed of the game. Um, going six and zero this past uh, week and four and this in our in our home tournament has been a privilege and a very good showing for us um, with our crowd being there we're hoping that they come back to more of our matches and that um, we continue to have, be successful. Um, definitely lots of video. Uh, we are watching tons of video on these teams. We're getting ready to prepare for these games. Um, we, I am excited about Johnson County coming to our house this year. They are a team that is always ranked in the nation and they don't know what they're getting into when they come down to Coffeeville Community College. Um, they're not used to a big crowd. They're not used to the crowd being right on the floor. So we are excited to have this type of atmosphere, this type of game at, this right, at the right time because we're playing really good volleyball right now. I wanted to say in the um, tournament this past weekend, our co-MVPs was Daniela Santos and she was an MVP of one of the Fort Scott kids. And then Carolina Machado was also on the all-tournament team and Taylor Clay was also on the all-tournament team. So um, yeah, we're excited. Uh, our serve's tough right now and we definitely use that to one of our advantages, especially when Johnson County comes.